So this is RIDER, this is the IDE, you're probably all uh, hopefully familiar with it, and um, I'm going to show you really uh, the two main keyboard shortcuts that are important as a bit of a survival guide really. So we're aware that um, RIDER has a lot of menu items here, there's a lot to sort of get through there, uh, and my advice really is to ignore all of those and to stick with these keyboard shortcuts. There's two of them really, Shift, Shift, and Alt Enter. Shift Shift is our search everywhere keyboard shortcut, uh, and this allows you to search anywhere around in your code, uh, and it's very, very powerful. There's a whole load of things you can do, and this allows you to get anywhere uh, you need to get to. Now, you might already be familiar with this from a different keyboard shortcut, and um, you know, maybe perhaps using uh, Control T or Control N or uh, some other key map, but I'm gonna suggest using Shift Shift. Firstly, it's a really convenient keyboard shortcut, and secondly, it's a common keyboard shortcut. It's the same across all different key maps, and it's even the same across all the different products we've got as well. So if you're switching between IntelliJ and Rider, or WebStorm and Rider, for example, then Shift Shift will be the same in all of these. So right, so once we call Shift Shift, we've got our uh, search everywhere here. You've got a number of tabs across the top. You can search for pretty much anything. We index the code, we index all your files, all your classes, all your symbols, and you can just start typing and we'll narrow things down and very quickly navigate around. So we can then select things and move there. So it's all very easy and very simple to navigate and find things. You can hit tab to narrow down the searches, to go between classes, uh, to read everything, classes, files, and symbols. And it's a nice way of sort of narrowing things down there and uh, navigating around. And you can then easily quick to quickly jump to the type that you're uh, you're interested in. You don't have to type everything out either, so it's very easy to start typing the whole name out there, but we can also um, match things based on shortcuts, based on the, the uh, short versions of the word there. So we can just use uh, a short version there, like memref, or we could do something like M, uh, yeah, MDR to very quickly uh, narrow things down to just the camel case versions, the initial letters of multi-word um, symbols that you've got there. And so it's, again, a very quick and easy way of, of navigating around. This initial letter, the camel humps, is surprisingly easy to navigate around an entire uh, solution based purely on the camel humps there. It's uh, surprising how many um, different combinations of the letters you can get that will very quickly navigate you and get you somewhere where you need to go. And so you can easily jump to the, the types that you need. And you can combine it too as well. So you can do a bit of um, camel, hump, uh, camel humps there with... Um, the, the finishing it off there if it doesn't quite match and you can very quickly get to where you need to be. There's a couple of other useful things you can do here as well. So you can actually type in a line number and that will take you to that particular line of a file there. So I can get to line 200 or something. Very useful if you've got a, um, a log message which is telling you about a, a particular line. You can just jump straight to uh, a line there and it'll uh, navigate you straight to, the, to where you need to be. Uh, and we can also do things like uh, narrow things down by namespaces as well. So we could do something like uh, MCRMD, oh no, sorry, um, let's do MDI uh, GSP. There we go. And so now I can uh, very quickly navigate to say, uh, get sequence points of method debug information based purely on uh, the initial letters of the type itself, method debug information, and then GSP for get sequence point and it'll quickly and easily uh, navigate me around. The other useful thing to point out with, um, with this uh, is, uh, where am I? So, so we can do a similar sort of thing actually, yes, with things like um, array.suffix there. So as, as well as just getting namespaces and that we can also do uh, a full type, array.type.suffix. Uh, and then once we are in a particular location, we can use the final tab here, which is actions. And this is really useful because it doesn't search your code, it searches the ID itself. So this will find all the actions that are available for the current location, uh, wherever you are in, in your code. So I, if I wanted to rename something, and I can't remember what the keyboard shortcut is, I can just start typing rename in the actions uh, 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 tab here. And the useful thing is it also gives me a keyboard shortcut as well, so I can start to learn the keyboard shortcuts uh, as well. Okay, so that's kind of uh, shift shift in a, in a nutshell. There's um, a, a lot of stuff you can do there. Very quickly gets you to where you want to go. And once you're there, of course, we've got the Alt Enter keyboard shortcut. So those are the two main keyboard shortcuts. With those two shortcuts, you can get to pretty much all of the functionality within Rider itself. Now, Alt Enter is um, really useful for when we've got inspections on the go. So you can see here, 
we've got uh, return highlighted here. And if we hover over that, we can see that that's got inconsistent body style. We've got a lot of inspections that are in Rider. I'm not going to cover uh, too many of them. I'm just going to sort of point out that we've got lots of different kinds of inspections as well. We've got things which are for a style point of view. So here we're going to say that we want to be using expression bodied properties across the project. And so Rider will sort of give us a suggestion here to tell us to uh, modify that and, and work with that. Um, but we've also got things like um, uh, checking for null references. So if you've got a potential null reference, Rider will flag that up and warn you. And also things like um, new C sharp usages as well. So if we can be using a different form of uh, C sharp, so an example here would be, I guess, uh, use var instead of int, we can use quickly do alt enter and rewrite that. Same with our expression body members, alt enter, and we can quickly rewrite that and fix it up. A couple of useful things I want to show you off this is that quite a lot of the quick fixes we've got, whenever we've got an inspection, many of the quick fixes, wherever appropriate, can be uh, fixed within a, a file. You can do it across a scope there. So it's not just uh, one by one, you can actually fix a whole load of them uh, directly in a file, in the folder, in a project itself, or across the entire uh, solution. So by changing that uh, file now, we can see that we've got a change at the top here as well. We can just quickly check with the version control, and we can see how it was being rewritten to uh, change things there. So there's lots of different things we can do with inspections. Uh, let me undo that so I've got something else to show. Um, the other thing I wanted to show with Altenta, though, really, is uh, Rider's got these items down the bottom here. These are almost always here. They, uh, whenever available, they're, they're, they are shown here. So we've got navigate to, refactor this, inspect this, and generate code. These are the other entry points into the rest of the functionality we've got. So uh, let's get up to the, the top of the class. In fact, let's go back to member reference. And if we bring up the navigate to menu, uh, menu item here, we get to see a whole bunch of options which are applicable here in a context, uh, in the particular context, for what we can do to navigate around a code. So we can go to um, derive symbols, for example, and we get a list of all of our derived symbols. And I can just start typing to narrow that down and navigate around. Or more usefully, we can do something like find usages. And Rider will very quickly find all those usages, can give us a preview on the uh, right hand side, and it can even group by how they're being used here. So, for example, uh, being used in creating an array. Other items in here, we've got things like refactoring. So, for example, if we wanted to rename something, we can go to the refactor menu. And again, we can narrow that down. We can start typing and um, find the rename item and bring up the refactoring here so we can change it. And then that will safely rename our symbols across the whole solution. And the other items here, we've got things like uh, generate code, which is really useful for uh, adding things like equality members. Uh, so we can write a lot of the boilerplate code for you uh, and you can sort of generate a, a dispose pattern. If we had some fields here, which uh, would be useful to dispose. Let's do um, equality instead. We can choose which items we want to take part in equality, and Rider will very quickly generate all of that uh, boilerplate for us. So again, very useful. And Alt Enter takes us straight to these uh, entry points of the functionality. The other thing to show with um, Alt Enter, which is useful, is we can just start typing here as well. And so we've got two different ways of uh, searching all of the actions that are available to us. We can do it through Shift Shift or we can also do it through Alt Enter. And again, it's showing me the keyboard shortcuts so I can very quickly start to learn my keyboard shortcuts and uh, move on. Okay, so uh, one last thing I want to show you with when we've got warnings, for example, let's go to class one, this one's a nice one. So if we've got an inspection here, um, this one is all about uh, a captured variable is modified in the outer scope. So that's, that's great and everything, I can Alt Enter and I can fix it but that doesn't really explain to me what's going on here. So that's just kind of blindly trusting what's happening. So what we've got instead is down in this inspections menu, we've got this item here, why is Rider suggesting this? For many of our inspections, uh, for we, we see the, the squiggly underlines, you'll see a why is Rider suggesting this, and we get a, a web page then, which is telling us um, what's going on here, it gives us exp explanation of what's happening, uh, and a, a detailed, um, overview of everything and also how we can fix it as well. So that's, you don't have to just blindly trust what Rider is suggesting. You can find out why it's being suggested and why you should change it and how to fix it uh, so that it works better for you. 
And finally, with Altenter then is that uh, Altenter is not just avail available where inspections are, avail it's available everywhere. So for example, here I've got a, a main class here, I've got a console app. We've got a little gutter icon here so I could click that and run the, uh, the main item itself, or I can use the context menu as well. And I can just click here and run it directly. There are other things I can do. So if I'm at, at, on the public keyword here, I can alt enter and I can quickly change that to private or change it to uh, internal and quickly modify things. If I go to a string literal, I can change that to string interpolation or I could change it to a verbatim string uh, or modify things around uh, as well. There's a lot of different things that I can do. Okay, so um, that's shift, shift and alt enter. Those are the two main keyboard shortcuts you've got to, got to remember. From there, you can get to everywhere else and from there, you can then start to learn other keyboard shortcuts that will help you um, move around quicker, navigate quicker uh, and, and edit and work with your code quicker as well. So the next thing I want to look at then is, um, is code completion. So let's just have a look at um, a method. In fact, let's just roll this change back so we don't spoil anything. Now, uh, code completion, of course, you're all familiar with it. If you just start typing there, we will complete for you. So if I have something like if is window runtime projection, it's there and I can hit it, uh, select it and it's completed for me. I can also just start typing the camel case again and it will match those and complete that. So that's nice and easy. Uh, other useful things are things like um, uh, import completion. So I can start typing INPC here, and that can be I know for, oh, that can match I notify property changed. But you'll see in brackets here saying in system dot component model. And this, if I select this now, it's actually going to import system component model for me there. So I don't have to worry about all the using statements. I just need to type the thing I want to uh, complete and uh, Ride will find it and edit that for me. And now we've got another inspection here saying, well, you haven't implemented the members here and I can right click, sorry, Alt Enter uh, and implement the missing members and Ride will generate a whole load of code for me. I won't bother with that right now. Uh, instead, we will have a, a look at a different feature, which is really cool. This one's a slightly more advanced feature perhaps, uh, and it's, um, it's called uh, Postfix Completion. And this one is a little bit harder to explain, but it's a bit easier to, to demonstrate, really. The idea of this is that you start working with your data and stop worrying up too much about the syntax of the code, and you let Resharper do the syntax for you. So, for example, here, I want to create a new string builder. Oops. Uh, so if I start typing string builder and then do dot var, uh, you can see we've got a little sort of template uh, icon here. If I click that now, it's created a new, created a new instance and a new variable for me. So it's a very quick way of generating and creating new code. I can also do things like uh, start iterating over my numbers with a dot for each, and I can very quickly uh, set up a for each pattern there. I, I can check to see if it's even, and I put an if statement at the end. So I'll worry about the condition and then figure out the syntax afterwards. And I could actually do uh, dot not, oops, dot not there as well and have that as a not and then dot if and then I could have well okay I want to return that now so let's do dot yield so it's a very quick way of concentrating on the data that you're working with and the variables that you're working with and then let Rider fill in the syntax for you and build up the syntax for you and there's a whole load of different uh, postfix uh, templates available for you to use as well now um, the next thing is uh, is going to be some, to do with some more sort of uh, editing type stuff and um, actually, you know, I'm going to jump back a bit because there was something else I wanted to show you with um, uh, with completion here. So let's just undo that. I wanted to show you completion here because there's uh, a little thing down the bottom here. If you look at the bottom of this tool of this uh, tool window here, you've got a little hint which is useful. Press Enter to insert or Tab to replace. So there's actually two different modes of working with. Uh, with completion. I can hit tab and that replaces name with namespace. Or I could do enter and now it's inserted it. Now this might look like it's now generated an error, but it's for when I want to do different things. If I want to replace this with namespace, then that's, oh, <laughs> I have to use the right keyboard shortcut. If I wanted to replace it, then I can quickly uh, replace that. But if I wanted to simply extend that, I can use a different keyboard shortcut there, Alt and uh, Enter and Tab, to be able to either 
insert or replace the code that uh, I'm working with there. So that's very useful. So there's a difference between enter and insert. OK, so the next thing then is a bit of editing. And um, we're all very familiar with uh, highlighting a line, doing cut and paste and moving things around. Uh, we don't want you to do that. We want you to do something a little bit smarter than that. So if I grab that and moved it around, I've suddenly broken code. What I want to be able to do is work a little bit more semantically. So we've got a couple of things which are useful for, for working with that. The first one is uh, extending the selection. So I can uh, use keyboard shortcut here to uh, extend selection. And what the keyboard shortcut is depends on the key map you're in. I can quickly look uh, for extend selection. On my Mac here, it's Alt and Up. Uh, on a uh, Visual Studio key map, it would be something like uh, Control W. And I can quickly extend the uh, selection. Uh, and then with uh, Alt down, I think it's Shift, Control W uh, on window on the Visual Studio key map you can uh, quickly expand and shrink your keyboard shortcuts, sorry, <laughs> your selection. And once you've selected that, then you are in a much better position to copy and paste something a little bit more semantically. However, we still don't want you to do that. We want you to be moving things around a little bit smarter than that. So we've actually got another feature, which is rearrange code. And again, with the right keyboard shortcuts, uh, you can move your code as a block up and down uh, within a method here. So we can move a whole if statements like that, and we can move it down several lines uh, because we're moving it semantically. We're moving a block of code. What we can even do as well is we can push it inside a block as well. So we can push it inside the, the, the loop and uh, very quickly move things around. Uh, this is useful as well if we want to grab the, uh, if we wanted to move this line into the loop, instead of uh, cutting and pasting, we could just grab the uh, item, the, the last closing bracket there and push down and it, it uh, consumes then and pulls in that line of code and brings it into the loop itself. And uh, I think that is basically everything I wanted to show you, some of the basics, some of the uh, shift, shift, alt, enter, two bank keyboard shortcuts, a little bit of uh, editing stuff with the uh, code completion and postfix completion, which is very cool, uh, and then rearranging code, safely rearranging and uh, editing your code there.